Hello, I'm Super Orange Cat here and today with a Tanami news update. This will basically be news relating to Tanami from the past week or so. So the first big thing I want to cover is we did kind of get a new show announcement. Kinda. So if you recall some of my older videos, I stated that at numerous times there was Adult Swim emphasized that Rick and Morty the anime was just going to be on mainstream Adult Swim. That it was not going to be like treated as a Tanami original. So they backtrack on that because it will be debuting on Tanami starting on August 17th. Now, August debut, I think I expected and all of you expected. In fact, it was pretty universal for anyone following Tanami that they're thinking, okay, it's going to be the new season of My Hero Academia. That was clearly going to be the next new show announcement. Like I said, I thought that was pretty obviously the case, but apparently I was wrong. And I think this is interesting because of the fact that, look, I watched the trailer and I mentioned like there's this difference between like the general anime fandom and like the Toonami sphere, like the sphere of people who focus primarily on Toonami. And I'll notice that occasionally there's something that kind of escapes that Toonami sphere and the general anime fandom takes note of. This was one of those cases. Like, for example, in a good way, Uzumaki, because he had that trailer come out, and people in general said, this looks amazing, this looks beautiful. This was the exact opposite case. The trailer broke containment, basically, and everyone was just dunking on how bad it looked. And I'm going to be real with you. The animation quality looks bad. You could point and be like, well, it's inspired by this style of anime. It's inspired by these old types of anime, but... It just looks ugly in practice. Like, for example, take something like uh, Bush World Adventures, which is made, I believe, by the guy who currently is the producer of Smiling Friends. The thing was, yeah, that was ugly, but that was part of the joke. Part of the joke was how ugly and rough it looked. Rick and Morty, the anime, is trying to be serious about it. And I could go into detail, but everyone, everyone was dunking on it. And you can look at other recent decisions, perhaps decisions made by higher-ups, which included probably having My Adventures of Superman lead off the block, and that has, perhaps surprisingly to me, done fairly well. Like, they finally dumped the last three, four weeks of ratings, like a few nights ago. I looked at the numbers, and My Adventures of Superman is doing a pretty good job holding up the top of the block, which I was a little surprised on, but hey, there apparently there is a viewership for that show. And... I don't know if that's going to happen for Rick and Morty. And you could be like, well, the Rick and Morty still gets a good viewership when it airs new episodes. Yes, but again, we've I think we've past reached the point of oversaturation of Rick and Morty in general culture. And I could go into detail about that, but I don't think that Rick and Morty the anime is going to do anything resembling Rick and Morty numbers on Toonami. I think this was a bit of a poor move. I feel like uh, Warner Brothers Discovery kind of uh, went in there and was like, hey, uh, hey, uh, this we really we just gave a good view a good decision by putting that My Adventures of Superman show up top now, didn't we? How about you do this second thing for us? That's what it feels like for to me, you know? And talking about Warner Brothers Discovery, that's going to kind of really tie in with the other big news announcement. And this came out a couple days ago where it was announced, at least I saw this on Twitter, and I have been able to corroborate it with a couple other sources, that Warner Brothers Discovery is currently undergoing a pretty sizable layoff of approximately estimated 1,000 employees. Now, there's a possibility that this means that budget cuts are coming. And again, we were, when Warner Brothers Discovery first, the merger first happened, we were holding our breaths, seeing where the the scythe of the Angel of Death was going to come down for regards to Tsunami, and it did strike in the forms of having Venom Pirate Princess, Blade Runner Black Lotus, and Shenmue the animation written off for tax purposes. But considering how ugly it did TBS and TNT, I would say it, 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 it got off relatively light relative to those networks. And then afterwards, you get these new show announcements, announcements of new originals, and also you get in general just like the sense that they are giving some favoritism to Toonami, they're getting the good show licenses, they're spending money on these originals, and you're like, okay, maybe this is going to work out. Maybe 
maybe we can't just simply dunk on David Zasloff. But here's the thing. If they're in this mindset where they're doing this big layoff, who's to say Tanami ends up unscathed? It could be. This could be in a completely different department. Tanami or adults might not even be touched at all. That's a very distinct possibility. And I hope that's what ends up happening. But again, and we remember seeing this, seeing this, this is actually from the Warner Media days. If you remember during the Warner Media days, I want to say 2021, I might be off on the year. They just cut all the webcam, all the live streams, like, fast. Like, they cut Fish Center, they cut Developmental Program, they cut Tanami's, uh, the free flight, they cut that. They cut all that, and basically anyone who was only employed with web streams, they got the axe. So I'm saying, don't be surprised if there's some type of swift cut. Don't be surprised if some staff relating to Adult Swim or Tanami make an announcement in the next few weeks that they are now out of a job. Again, it's not like, oh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. We know there's layoffs. It could be in a completely different department. Tanami might be relatively unscathed. I feel like I have to emphasize that a bit. But again, who knows? And that's more of a developing story. And I think as the rest of the summer goes on, especially if we get to the fall where we get more specific about this layoff, because they just submitted the war notice, which means it can be within 90 days, I believe. That's how the war notices work. The layoffs might be sometime in the next 90 days. But they did file that saying that we are we are going to do this. So again, that's still up in the air what that actually will impact with regards to Tanami. Again, it might have absolutely no impact, and that's what I'm hoping for. And the other again, back the other news me other news piece of the week being the Rick and Morty the anime. New show announcement, kinda, technically, maybe. It's been official, midnight, August 17th. I believe the season finale, My Adventure Superman Season 2, airs this Saturday night. And then the next week, it will be a marathon. And then we kind of pit around for a couple weeks, and then Rick and Morty the anime is going to happen. And I don't know how long Rick and Morty the anime is going to be, but maybe, just maybe, on the other end of that, we get uh, My Hero Academia. Or maybe on the other end of that, we might even get Uzumaki. Who knows? So let's look at the, let's look at the bright side of that, I suppose. So what do you guys think? Leave your comments and opinions down below. I am Super Orange Cat, and that is all.